All right. Welcome back to Outdoor Chef Life. Today, we're fishing for bat rays. Caught bat rays before in the, oh, take two. Whew. Welcome back to Outdoor Chef Life. Fishing for bat rays today. After my catch and cook shark video, there was a lot of requests. People saying I should have eaten those bat rays too. Never eaten bat rays before. Have you eaten bat ray? No, right? Nope. I'm with Zico. It's a scallop. It tastes like scallop? That's what people say. People say those bat rays have that scallop texture. The flavor too, or just the, no, just the flavor, texture? I mean, it's like a lot of the Chinese restaurants. Uh huh. Supposedly some restaurants sell these, sell these bat ray as scallop in some restaurants. I don't know. I've never heard of that. But let's see. We're gonna catch one, cook it up later. I'll let you know if they really taste or feel like scallops. Gotta catch one first though. All right, not getting any bites here, so we're gonna move to another spot. All right, guys, move to a new spot across the Golden Gate Bridge that you can see right here. Zico says they're over here. He was here last month. take him out of his misery we dispatched it right away by stabbing it in the brain which is just behind the eyes in the middle of the fish all right well we got one on the board to cook up so now let me just catch one too I don't think we'll keep another one but I just want to catch one at least. I've never had bat ray. People say they're good though. Let's see. Right there. He's right here. Let me bring him up. Let me pull the line up. There you go. There you go. Ah, ha, ha. Oh, there he goes. It's all good. Line snap. No, it's all good. Yeah, he's gone, dude. It's all good. We already have that one. I just wanted to catch one, you know. Right. I got one. We'll count that. We'll I think count that one. counts. It was right here. My bad, my bad. You saw it. It was right here. It's half. It's half. I was going to let that one go anyways, you know? We already got one. It's about the same size. All right, so I'm going to do, I'm going to take the right wing. Zico's going to take the left one. It's kind of like doing a halibut. He's just scraping along the bones here. Oh. Or I don't think, I don't know if these have actual bones. It's, it's like all just cartilage. cartilage. Yeah, I think it's like a shark. Yeah, 
yeah, much more meat on the top. Yeah, it's a decent fillet of meat right there. Cool, pretty excited to try it. Nice. I'm basically gonna cut these guys into chunks, just bite-sized pieces. These are good pieces. At Ray Fry Nuggets. Fish sauce and vinegar. All right, and then I'm gonna add some fish sauce here, sauce here, <laughs> vinegar as well, just a touch. I'm gonna add some cornstarch, probably like a tablespoon. Mix in the cornstarch first, then heat it up. Mm. Now once it heats up, you should see it get a little thick. Ooh. Thickened up real quick. Ooh, yeah. Maybe a little too much cornstarch. Have me a little, a little water in here. Water? A little more, a little more. Right there. Good. All right, oil. All right, so I want this to be nice and crispy. So we're gonna fry it. Not once, not twice. Three times. Tray. Thrice fried. And I brought, I had a rack too, but I forgot at the car. It's all the way to hike up. So I'm not gonna <laughs> go get that. I'm just gonna use the cutting board. All right, so that's gonna go in first for one minute, and then I'm gonna pull it out for 30 seconds, back in for 30 seconds, back out 30 seconds, back in 30 seconds. We're frying it three times. Now, back in last time, 30 seconds. What else is commonly triple fried? Fried chicken. Really? Wings, yeah. Chicken wings, karage. Karage. Oh, karage is like double, triple fried? Yeah. So you get that crispy outside, juicy inside. Yeah. I guess I know what people mean, like, it's like scallop, but it's a little more stringier than it's scallop. It's very stringy, yeah. It flakes Flaps apart. Like, it like flakes scallop. apart nicely, but those individual strings are um, less tender than scallop. Mmm. Lime juice up in here. Thinned out the sauce, added some lime juice. Sort of uh, thick enough to stick onto the fish. Forgot to put a little sugar. I was gonna do that to give it a little more sweetness. This will just give it a little hint of sweetness. Nice and crispy here. All right, I'm not gonna put too much because this stuff is pretty strong. <laughs> mix it up in there. Transfer this onto my plate. Top it with a bit of green onion here. There it is. I'll let it do a little more, why not? Boom. Top it with a little more lime juice. That was like the floor. There you are. Catch and cook. Bat ray is complete. Right, Fill go. up in the house. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm on. We go back. Back, back. Back. We go back. This is my so buddy. It's like middle school days, yo. Middle school, yeah. yeah. I went a little light on one. the chili because Philip is a little weak on the chili. <laughs> That's good. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. You could use more chili, but it's good. <laughs> you can, right? Hey, okay, fresh Thai chili? Yes. A little more, huh? Now, now we got the kick going. There we go. There we go. Get that. Cheers. Cheers. Uh. 
Mm. Oh yeah. Mm. Mm. Anybody want to try? Oh, yeah, you guys want to try bat ray? You guys want to be in my video? Here, okay, come on by. Okay. All right, go ahead. Ooh. This has it's like a little bit spicy. Okay. There's Thai chilies on it. Oh, Great. So pretty. Fish sauce. Thank you. It's beautiful. Thank Looks you. amazing. Smells and amazing. There you go, chef. Oh, thank you. <laughs> there you go. Mm. Cheers. Tastes just like chicken. Oh, it's delicious. Oh. Bravo. <laughs> Bravo. And Yum. The, thank you. It's, it's really good. good. Mm -hmm. okay, awesome. It's good. Mm. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Thai chili. That's really mm. nice. Thai chili, yeah. Mm. All right, you're, I'm just have a small you, piece. Go ahead. Go ahead, please. Wow. Please, give it a try. That, um, right. Yeah. Mm, that is good. Right. Right. <laughs> wow. Mm. Pretty tasty. Pretty tasty? What does it taste like to you? Meat. Meat. Yeah, it's kind of meaty, huh? Meaty, like, uh, do you know? I would say it's But wait. Croatia, in Cleveland, in Croatia, that will be. Yeah. Oh, uh, chicharrones. Chicharrones. Oh, chicharrones. Chicharrones. Oh, the crispiness, yeah. right? Yeah. Crispiness yeah. and that saltiness of chicharrones. Pork, pork uh, skin. Yeah. Pork skin. Okay, that's my last. Thank you. Of course. Thank you. Thank mm. you. Mm. Personally, I thought the texture was pretty close to chicken breast rather than scallops but if you tried it let me know <laughs> all right guys we're gonna finish this up anyways if you like the video make sure to hit that thumbs up subscribe of course as usual see you next time peace i'm gonna try to keep my uploads consistent now on tuesdays hashtag taco tuesday <laughs> Hey guys, so a lot of you have been asking where you can get my knife bag and I've been saying it'll be available soon. We've been working really, really hard on it. And by we, I mean myself and my mom. She makes handmade bags, so I asked her to collaborate with me and make this knife bag. Super nice. It's got 11 slots for knives and utensils, two pockets on the inside, one pocket on the outside with the Outdoor Chef Life logo. And all handcrafted and this will be available starting august 5th on my website outdoor chef life also i have one more thing this will be available starting august 5th this is the outdoor chef life apron all handcrafted also by my mom and this thing is perfect really clean beautiful design simple Ooh. I'm really excited to use this. I just got this in the mail today from her. So really excited. It'll be available August 5th, OutdoorChefLife.com. If you want to know more updates, make sure to follow me on Instagram at OutdoorChefLife. All right, guys. Peace.